Right, so if you watched our previous video, you was uh, the one going to Scotland, um, you were seeing that we didn't make it on our trip. Uh, we had low oil, the oil warning light came on. So basically, after I topped it up with oil and I shut the bonnet and everything else, the oil light remained on. That was the only little concern that I had. However, what skipped my mind what I completely forgot about was this little bonnet switch. Um, a bit later on, after I'd broken down and I'd been sat there for a few hours, uh, I tried this little switch and it didn't reset the orange light. But that's why I was concerned with when we went away. Um, that's the only reason why we got it towed back because it didn't reset the orange light. So what I've done is um, I took this switch off and I've had a good look at it. I did take it apart, but the contacts in there is three little pins, and one of the contacts is completely broken. I've been on eBay and I purchased myself another one from Heritage. Well, I went on the Heritage uh, web page and I couldn't find it listed on their page. And then I went onto eBay and searched on eBay. And straight away I find it. And who supplies it? Heritage. But I couldn't find it on their website, not for love nor money. So this should be my new switch, which it is. And it's well easy to fit. It's right behind when you pop the bonnet open. It's well, as you're looking at the engine bay. It's in the front left, right at the top by the hinge. So, uh, yeah, it's the same, looks the same, and that will reset the orange, the, the oil light. So, you need the bonnet switch for the oil light to reset it. <laughs> <laughs>